Hey guys, welcome to Phoenix Arms and Defense. So here we are, we're out at Holly Gun Range. As you can see, we got the range all out in front of us, variety of targets. We got the 224 Valkyrie here. Off camera, went ahead and zeroed it. It's a little bit windy today, groups were a little bit off, but not my best shooting. I don't think it's the gun. But we're gonna go ahead and walk her out. We're gonna take you guys for a journey. So we got us two, uh, three round mags loaded up here. So it's only letting us load like three to four rounds in here. So you gotta have six, eight special mags. I knew it was gonna do that. We'll get those later, but this will get the point across. So 224 Valkyrie, is it dead? This is the question we're trying to figure out. Well, let's go ahead and walk her on out and see what we can do. We'll start at 100. We'll go out to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight however far we can so here we go we can probably get all the way up to the three without having to do any adjustments so here we go 100 that's pretty straightforward all right let's go to two it's gonna be if you can see it on camera uh, it's half orange half white Three, we're gonna go after this little gong. All right, so that's 300 right off the bat. So go ahead and make a quick correction or elevation. So we got, a, says according to this, we'll go straight out to five. It says 11.1 .1 mils is what we need, so or not mills, excuse me, MOA, wrong thing. All right, so there is 11.1 .1 MOA dialed in the gun. We're gonna go for five. You'll start to hear the uh, discrepancies in, you'll hear the discrepancies in the steel and how it takes longer for the bolts to get out there. So here's five. Shots. Let's go ahead and take another one at five. And another one. Sweet. So let's go ahead and go to six. We got three more shots in here. Six tells me that we need to go up to a total of 15 even. So 11. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so let's check out six. Six is kind of out there. It's you probably can't see it on camera at this point. Sorry, guys, I don't have a good enough looking camera. All right, we ready? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. was a hit. Yep. It was not the gong, though. We hit the plate still. Score! 
929 yards and the rifle is still staying supersonic. Yeah, granted, I didn't hit the 12 inch gong, but that's okay. Because literally this range review that we took, this little range trip that we took a few weeks ago, it was just a proof of concept. I wanted to see what the round could do. Was it really capable of reaching out to that long range distance? And it is, it is. That video really proves it. Um, so we're gonna kind of go into the details of this rifle here. First note real quick though, um, I didn't include the 800 yard mark um, and the 700 yard clip is really short because there were a bunch of people that had just showed up to the range and you know they were kind of getting settled in and it, you couldn't hear the hits and the footage that I had anyway. So um, I, I just cut it out just for sake of time uh, because we're gonna be talking a lot here. So um, it was really cool, really great day, really cool people out there. Um, was talking to several people about the 224, including the range officer when I first showed up that morning. Um, really, really good dude. Uh, he, and he knows his AR-15s. And he had informed me that I was like the second or third person I ever brought a 224 out there. And he, he was like, he was really, really curious to see how I shot. So he helped me zero it, which is why I didn't have it on camera. Not a big deal. Um, they weren't nothing to really show on camera anyways. I wasn't shooting very good that day. Um, but we did get her down to about an inch group, got her dialed in, made sure it was stabilizing, unsuppressed, screwed the can on, got a good zero. And then he started walking me out there, giving me my adjustments. And I was going off the calculator. We hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the 930, all on the first shots. And he, me and him were both like shocked. I wish I'd had it on camera. It, it was really cool because there was no wind and it, it did what it needed to do. So, you know, for that, it is what it is. Um, then when I actually decided to actually, everything had settled down, it was just me and the wife out there. We uh, decided to turn the camera on. She took a couple shots with it and she really enjoyed it. Um, so that's that camera footage is what came from. So that's why we didn't have the 800 mark in there. So just a little side note there. Um, okay, so um, how does this rifle actually shoot? Well, um, far as the recoil impulse handles really nicely. Um, it's really mild on the recoil. And then on top of that with the suppressor, no ears, you're able to hear the hear the hits, which is really, really cool, really fun experience. The camera does not do it justice. Um, and it also helps with, you know, being able to stay on target and watch the splash hit. So you can self spot. So there is some merit to having a low recoiling cartridge like that. My wife, who had an injury about two years ago, almost, almost two years ago, year and a half, uh, was in a car accident and me and her both were actually in a car accident and she's not able to handle these big calibers right now. She wants to, it just, it's gonna kill her shoulder so we don't even put her on them. Uh, but she did, she was able to shoot this one and she loved it. She thought it was so much fun. We had her on, on the big piece of steel at 930. So that was really cool. Um, and she, we had a good time. We had a really good time shooting this video. So anyways, I digress back to the rifle. Um, like I said, the recoil aspect of it, mild. Staying on target, it's perfect. It does exactly what it needs to do there. So big old check mark there. Um, as far as the round, uh, the only complaint I have about the round is that, and I, I knew this going into this, it's not like those big, you know, 168, 175 grain 308 bullets that I'm used to shooting. The wind doesn't affect those as much. The wind, does affect this one even though it's getting the velocity it needs to be you do need to be cognizant of the wind because as in that last clip as you heard you would hear that loud supersonic crack and then a thump and that was because those rounds were impacting the railroad tie in between that angled piece of steel and then the little hanging tank there and it was pushing those rounds every bit of 25 30 inches with 10 to 13 mile an hour crosswinds so that is something to be noted and mind you i was aiming at that little circle gong there. So that's how far it was pushing it. So, but I'm glad it worked out that way because we could hear that it was staying supersonic. So like I said, proof of concept. I'm not upset at all that I didn't hit the target. That's just me not knowing the caliber, not knowing the wind and I'm learning it. So it is what it is. Overall, um, there's some merit here where I was like really nervous at first, like, oh, am I going to be need to rechain to this for something else? But nope. Um, in fact, the, the, this, Video series was shot about two weeks ago, and then literally last this past week, 
we went out and took it out again and tested a couple other cartridges. So we'll have some more videos for you here pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. So um, there's some merit here and we're gonna continue on with the series and we're gonna really explore this down in depth. We're gonna be doing a lot of different videos on loads, testing them and then walking them out and seeing how they do. So expect it. Um, if you are getting into this cartridge, please, please, please be sure to keep checking up with us because maybe I can give you some information with this that I find out that might help you because I'm not stingy. I'll give you the load data that I'm using. So, you know, there's that. Uh, and that's the whole purpose of this project is I'm very, very curious about this rifle and it's, it's not disappointing so far. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited, pretty stoked. So, all right, guys. So as always, if you are interested in the 224 Valkyrie, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. We will have more videos coming up. Um, also, you know, check out our Facebook page. I do have extra content there, loading bullets, kind of chit chat and shooting the breeze. That's always cool. Um, and then let us know how we're doing in the comments. Give us a like and a dislike if you don't like the videos. So, you know, let me know. So, all right, with that, we'll go ahead and close this out. Um, yeah. So I'm Chris Smith from Phoenix Arms and Defense. Thank you guys for watching the 224 Valkyrie Project, specifically episode three with the range review and initial impressions. So always remember guys, it's your right to self-defense, self-maintained. I'm Chris Smith and thank you guys for watching.